What's up adventurers? Today we are in the beautiful town of Kruja here in Albania where Skanderbeg defeated the Ottomans. So let's go on a journey. Before we start the video guys make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As always right now we're at the Skanderbeg Museum and we're about to go and explore. Let's go. So we just grabbed a quick coffee um, and some soft drinks in a cafe that's just directly beside Skanderbeg Museum. And um, Skanderbeg Museum is situated just above Kruja itself, the town of Kruja. We're way up here in the mountains with some incredible views. And where we're staying as well is basically, we, we booked it through booking.com. So we're gonna drop the link down below. It's called Rooms Merlika. Um, so that link will be in the description for you guys to check out. It's actually just directly next to Skanderbeg Museum. It's just a little bit higher up. So the views from there are incredible as well. We actually had breakfast there this morning with a fantastic view over Albania. And believe it or not, we went for dinner last night as well in the Hotel Panorama, which is like one of the main hotels down in the center of Kruja. And you can actually see the coast so you can actually see from the hotel out over towards Duris and the Cape of Rodon as well. So incredibly interesting. We're going to make our way down now from up here towards the center of Kruja where you have the old bazaar and you have a bunch of different things to explore there like shops, uh, other hotels and loads of different restaurants and uh, you can get some gelato as well. So let's go. Just one thing as well that I forgot to mention, when we arrived in Kruja, we actually came here with a friend of ours that we met, um, American guy called Andrew. Hi Andy. Hi Andy, if you're watching this video. <laughs> um, we actually booked uh, basically like a private villa, so we stayed in that villa for one night and we got some nice shots from that villa as well. So we're gonna actually show you what that villa looked like right now, check it out. Check this place out. Here in Korea, you have one of the older bazaars. I'm not actually not sure what it's called. I'm gonna put it down in the description. Um, here you can obviously find the normal touristy type of items, but you can also find like um, real antiques, for example, like all of the, the hats around here from the army or, you know, old carpets and um, instruments, all that kind of stuff. So you will find that around here, which is super cool. It's really cool because we have a video in Tirana of Pizari Iri, which is the new bazaar. There was an old bazaar as well in Tirana um, quite a while ago, but that got demolished in 1959, I believe. So this here is called Pazari Vieter, which basically stands for the old bazaar. So super interesting to be here and check this place out because you can see that there's some really interesting stuff around. Like you have a lot of very, very old antiques that are very interesting and probably very valuable as well. We just took the drone up there to take some nice shots of Skanderbeg Museum and the castle. Um, it's really beautiful, um, really beautiful clear day as well here. Um, 
just very warm. <laughs> like I've been saying, ever since we've left Germany uh, in May, it's just been insanely hot. <laughs> and because we're because we're tourists, we're coming out in the middle of the day. Like I think it's like two o'clock right now, and we're just out here being tourists in the middle of the day while everybody else is sleeping at home. Touristing around. <laughs> yeah, we're melting. So we had to go and grab some water. That's what we did. And uh, we took some nice drone shots. So check the drone shots out in three, two, one. Enjoy. And here we have Skanderbeg himself, one of the very first statues that was erected here in 1959. And is, he is the national hero of all Albanians. But you can find uh, Skanderbeg not only in Albania, you can also find statues of him in Rome, I think in Vienna, somewhere in Paris as well. So he's kind of the national hero of freedom and all the values in Albania. Check him out. So we actually came to Kruja from Tirana uh, two days ago. Uh, we came on the bus from Palati Sport. So the center, central bus station, if you will, in Tirana, there's two. One of them is Palati Sport. I'm not too sure of the other one, but we just basically got a taxi over from our place in Tirana, uh, one of the hostels that we were staying in. We went to the bus station and we managed to get to Kruja from Tirana for just 100 lek per person. So that's less than one euro each to get all the way up here into the mountains. Wow. You really uh, are not short on options when staying in Kruja. You have uh, Mervyn Hotel, which is just here behind me, if you can see that. You also have Hotel Panorama, which is directly in the center with fantastic views over Kruja. And then you can also see all the way down to the coast, like I was saying earlier. You have Rooms Merlika, which is actually where we're staying currently at the moment. We highly recommend Rooms Merlika, the place that we're staying. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll try and capture a quick video actually when we're on our way back there this evening for you guys, just to check that place out. It's an incredibly interesting place with amazing views as well. We have, there's also a restaurant attached to the uh, rooms itself. So it's definitely worth checking out because you're only going to end up paying like 22 to 26 euro a night for any accommodation really around Kruja, which is fantastic if you're coming from anywhere in the west of Europe like Ireland, Germany, England, anywhere like that. So we highly recommend you to come and check Kruja out when you do get the chance. Got some nice ice cream at George W. Bosch's place. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got ice cream there yesterday already because it's really, really tasty. Uh, I got dark chocolate and Kinder Bueno. I got Oreo and Kinder Bueno. So American, but it's um, amazing. It's a really tasty gelato as well. Definitely, you have to check it out. To be honest, when we first came here, we initially only planned on staying for one night in Kruja, just kind of to check it out, see what the vibe is like. And to be honest, like it feels like you kind of jumped into a fairy tale because everything is just so pretty and the people are amazing around here. So we decided to extend our stay to a total of- Three think, nights. Three nights, yeah, so four days. Just like, you need to see it if you ever come to Albania. <laughs> no water needed here.
we are back at our uh, accommodation at Rooms Merlika. Um, just took a quick little video of us coming back in just to show you guys what this place looks like. You have incredible views as you can probably see here directly behind us. Uh, it's just views from miles literally. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's our little brief video of this beautiful mountain town of Kruja, Albania. We only have good things to say about Kruja, to be honest. Um, it's really unexpected for us because we were in Tirana and the whole plan that we had in Tirana was to go from Tirana directly to the coast to Duras and then slowly make our way down from Duras all the way down to Saranda and then possibly hop over to Corfu. But what happened was we were in a hostel in Tirana and we got talking to a guy in there called Andy. Shout out to Andy. And um, he said, oh, I'm going to go to Kruja for just for one night before I go home to the States. Do you want to come with me? And uh, we were like, yeah, why not? Uh, we had we had originally booked a place in Duras, but it was free to cancel. So we went ahead and cancelled and we came here to Kruja and we certainly don't regret doing that. Yeah one of the most beautiful places so far obviously we didn't see a whole lot of Albania but we're super positively um, surprised by how beautiful it is and how friendly the locals are we got talking to a lot of people around here uh, yesterday evening specifically and everybody's just so happy to see us and to have us around so it's like a really really welcoming culture everywhere in Albania really but specifically here we really enjoyed um, talking to the locals and in Tirana as well obviously <laughs> yeah absolutely like uh, when we came to Albania at first we arrived directly into Tirana and um, Tirana is very diverse you have so many different cultures that are blending in there and it's really just like any other big city in the world um, fantastic city we really enjoyed Tirana we stayed there for nine nights and as you can see from our YouTube channel we have three videos that break down our, our quick experience in Tirana um, but Kruja is a little bit different it's much slower it's obviously way up here in the mountains as well much more laid back and much easier as well to strike up a conversation with some friendly Albanian locals. So uh, yeah, that's it guys. We are Nalu Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a thumbs up, make sure to like, make sure to comment. And we have a lot more content coming from Albania and the rest of the world. We're gonna be traveling for a very long time. So thank you guys, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.